it's understandable now when tech or staff tell us to cherish every moment as our last because we don't know when our last opportunity to perform our show will be. I'll tell you this, you have to perform, you have to play, you have to do this, like you're never going to do it again. And hopefully we can put a fantastic production on the floor. Yeah, that's where we are right now. Yeah? This moment right now, you need to play and have fun and enjoy ever this is for you. really going for it. I felt um, was one of our, or I won't say one of, uh, was our greatest year uh, to this point. A lot of things happened that really changed who I am and who I will be for the rest of my life. Hold on, I need a minute. I'm not going to cry. You do have to have fun on the floor. That's why you really do. Yeah, that energy, that drive. All of that stuff, it needs to feel like that. It's not about the slight mistake that you make. Yeah, it's what you do after that. Now, hopefully we'll never have that mistake at all. But as professional musicians, those are the types of things that, that really define us as true musicians. When we can really come back from a slight mistake as if it never happened. Preparation begins for the 2013 season in January, where old and new members alike start to learn their new program for the 2013 season entitled Fallen. As far as the indoor season, uh, I won't get too much into that. I think that's a, that, that would take us like 20 days, 30 days, 20 days. Uh, so, but the indoor show, in a nutshell, uh, came about uh, from uh, one source that I was thinking about and then uh, it ended up me and Sean uh, Gordon sat down and kind of talked about some things and uh, it became what it was, uh, which was pretty much um, uh, the, the fallen angel uh, coming down on the earth. Uh, and once that fallen angel came down on the earth, it changed uh, that person or that angel's perceptive perception. Uh, and uh, that particular angel ended up being uh, Lucifer, as we know it. So uh, that's the show in a nutshell. One month later, the competitive season has begun for Ayala High School. They have shown early success with their placements and with what the judges think of the show. Although staff and members alike know that this is no time to rest on laurels, they must work to make the show a production. And in first place with a net score of 83.25. And the winner is from Stick Tape from sticktape.com, Ayala High School. Woo!
Ayala season is now in full swing. The daily grinds of rehearsals are now harder than ever as Ayala pushes to learn its new closer before the WGI Western Championships, which sets them for their placings going in to the World Championships. Um, Jim was an incredible change in that it was very different. Uh, you know, Brian Nungri was the guy that uh, was writing our music in the fall and for the last few years. Um, great guy, great arranger, um, different from Jim, different. You know, everybody's, everybody's different. Um, and so switching to a new arranger, it's like changing fonts on a, on a, in a book. It's like you, you still know how to read it, but it's different. And so, uh, you know, his... His flavor, he's been doing this for a long time, and Jim has been, he's been the, the, the point of the sword. He has been the arranger that has been affecting change in our activity for years. And to have him on board, I mean, he was, he was writing Mission Viejo when I was here at school at Ayala. He was writing for the groups that, that we were trying to emulate, that we were competing against. He was my instructor at Blue Devils and RCC. Um, so it came with, uh, a, a, a relationship change, you know what I mean? This is the first time that he and I got to work together as um, colleagues and not as a, in a teacher-student relationship. Um, it was a, an incredible experience. It was really great and I'm really looking forward to um, years to come.
first saw Ayala, it was my eighth grade year when I was still at Canyon Hills, and um, I got to see goodbye. I was just absolutely taken away by how so many different people can come together and create such um, a breathtaking show. Like, um, just seeing everyone in that ensemble uh, play together and play such an amazing product and put such an amazing product on the floor really made me uh, feel like I wanted to be part of that and I wanted to um, feel like what they felt and put what they put on the floor is even something better. After months of rehearsals and performances locally in Southern California, the groups travel over 2,000 plus miles and arrive here in Dayton, Ohio, the backdrop for the world's best to come compete. And as the groups prepare to give their last few performances, they are greeted with a Midwest cold front, making everything twice as challenging. Finally, after countless hours of rehearsals and traveling, the World Championships begin. Our next ensemble will be presenting their program, Fallen. From Chino Hills, California, please welcome Ayala High School. Ayala High School, you may take the floor in preliminary competition. I was the world between light and darkness continues. 
competition.
With the final release, preliminary competition is over, which leaves both ensembles with only one performance left each to try and claim the perfect performance. As preparation begins for finals, the members have a moment to sit and reflect on the struggles and successes of their season, but only for a moment, because they still have one final job to do. Now that we come to the end of the year, um, it's a little, you know, it's it's a little, you know, sad, and only because uh, you never want something really, really good to go away. Uh, but uh, in order for change to happen, in order for us to uh, become stronger and learn from uh, the previous years, uh, it's part of the process. Of Both ensembles ended their seasons with silver medals in their respective divisions, making Ayala the only group in the nation to have both concert and marching groups medal in a world-class division, also improving on last year's rankings for the marching group. Although success is not weighed in placings, Ayala stands out as one of the world's best year after year, thanks to the drive and dedication of the many people who are involved in the program. I would say on an end note, um, uh, to all the seniors that are leaving right now, 
uh, thank you very much uh, for being a part of the program, uh, for giving everything that you have, for being a part of my life, for being a part of, of all of our lives, and um, leaving our program uh, in a better state than when you came into our program. So with that being said, thank you very much, and... Hey!